name is Frankie Leo O'Brien, and I'm going to talk a little about Basquiat. And um, I drew this picture because I like his art, and I like graffiti in his art. And he drew bones, he drew skulls, he drew cartoons. He drew crowns on the people that he was inspired by. His art was very messy and not neat. Outside of lines a lot. And uh, um he drew his uh he drew some cartoons he drew his own cartoons all and he drew, so he, he drew some actual cartoons. And, um, uh, and at the age of eight, he got hit by a car while he was playing in the street. And um, he, while he was in his, uh, a uh, hospital bed. His mom, his mom, gave him a textbook with a bunch of body parts in it, and um, uh, he drew crowns on the people that he was inspired by. He. He drew the stuff that he wanted to draw. He drew on a lot of stuff. He drew on um, houses, buildings, signs, posters that were outside. He painted out at night time. That's it. Bye. Hi, my name is Naye, and I chose to do Alma Thomas for Black History Month. Alma Thomas was born on September 22nd in Columbus, Georgia, in 1891. She died on February 24th in 1978 at the age of 86. Alma Thomas was an African-American artist and teacher who lived and worked in Washington, D.C. Alma went to Howard University. Alma Thomas is best known for her signature colorful abstract paintings. Alma Thomas was the first African-American female artist to have a solo exhibition at a major American museum. Alma Thomas became an important role model for women African Americans and older art, art, artists. Alma Thomas also liked to imagine seeing natural forms from a plane. She began to paint seriously in 1960. Alma Thomas sought inspiration in the natural world. I chose Alma Thomas because she is a good artist. And here's a picture that I want to share. Go. This is Basquiat, and I drew this picture because his art is very cool, and I like graffiti, and um, uh, that's it.
my art is inspired by Emily Douglas. Like his style, it has a bold center and a pattern in the background. My art is about Kamala Harris. She is our first female vice president, and she is also the first African American and Asian American vice president. The reason why I chose this artist was because he was the artist that we were studying, and so I put gave him a real bag that says real on it and then put it in his hand and now I also since he likes music I put a boom box next to him I put my Roblox name AC Aiden 625 that's not my real name though okay I also put the crown because he put the crown on himself and the other people who he admired and also put words around him. I put music and art. Okay, bye. I I studied Augustus Savage because she inspired me to make this. She's a black artist and um what does this represent? It represents a black person and a white person laying together. But that's an animal because animal, dogs and cats don't get together just like humans, but they're supposed to. Will you show it a little bit more? Okay. Hi, I'm Audrey. Um, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna teach you about um, Clementine Hunter, a black artist. So she didn't want to go to school. She wanted to pick cotton instead. Um, uh, she was painting about the plantation or something. Um, um, she started painting. 50 years old, and the way I love her um, is that all of like the different colors and and designs. Um, I I have something that I want to show you um, that I made is this. Ugh. Um, she did painting, but I did crayon. So I, um, I'm gonna read the little thing to you. Hi, I'm Andre. I created, I created art to show, to show you. Bye. Have a good, have a good day. Bye. So, um, she, she made um art whatever she could find like I did. So. I hope, I hope you learn a lot about Clementine Hunter. Peace! Richmond Barth was a famous black artist. He made amazing sculptures. He traveled all over the world. He inspired me to make this sculpture of two hands, one black, one white, shaking hands. This represents blacks and whites getting along. Shaking hands. Amir Burden inspired me to make this picture because it is full of color and I like the people playing the music. This is what I do and he was born up on September 3rd and he served in the U.S. Army. My name is Zoe Springer and for my Black Art History Project I put Black Lives Matter and then Black Panther and a Starbucks scene. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm in Lower Elementary, and my art is inspired by Emory Douglas. Emory Douglas's art was depicting the struggles of African Americans. Emory Douglas became influential in the Black Panther Party. His art showed African Americans as revolutionary fighters instead of victims. This made him a hero in his community. 
The Black Panthers were founded in response to police brutality and inequality. Henry Douglas made art to help his community. Here is inspired by Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is the first girl African American and Asian American Vice President in the United States. He used this the same technique as Emory Douglas did when he collaborated with the Black Lives Matter movement. Alright, what's your name? Anna Sam. And who is your picture modeled after? Emory Douglas. Uh huh, can you show your picture? I know, follow. Good, and what do you have on there? Um, BLM for Black Lives Matter. Good. And on the shirt, too, and the little speech bubble. Very good. Now, so go ahead and tell us, show us your artwork and tell us who the artist was that inspired you. So, uh, this is one of them that I drew. I drew Scooch it back I a little bit, Aaron, so we can see it really well. Okay. I drew Joe Biden right here. And then uh, I drew uh, the Chiefs right here. Uh, you might not see this, but I drew Peyton going to college right here. Let me just stop. I, I drew Peyton going to college right here. And I drew uh, not all white the races. Right and then I'll tell you about the other one. Okay, so Aaron, tell us what artist inspired that. Was it from yesterday when we learned about Basquiat? No, no one really inspired me. Well, that that's the one that you did when we were on the Zoom with Miss Carrie yesterday, right? That's the one you started. No, I did uh this one. Okay. Okay. I love that. Aaron, hold that up again. Let hold that back a little bit and hold it still so we can really see it. So that was the one that was inspired by Basquiat. Can you tell us about this one too? Sure. Uh, this is me. Uh, this is Kobe Bryant's number 24. And then, uh, I can't see this one. Oh, that's Black Lives Matter and COVID-19 with some X's around it. I love that. Erin, why did you draw those things on that? Why did you include those in your artwork? Because that was the first, those were the first things that came up to my head. That came to your head, things that maybe you're thinking about, things that you've been worrying about? Yeah. I love it. Thank you for sharing that, Erin. Now, go ahead. This is my Jacob Lawrence drawing. I made it in pencil and I drew it from Sharpie. And I copy it and I colored the top with the gray marker, the pointed one. Hunter, can you talk a little bit louder? It's a little hard to hear you. Move a okay. little closer. Okay. So that was your next panel from the Jacob Lawrence series. And what's the title of it, Connor? You can see it right here. Tell us. It's waiting at the station. There's all these black people waiting at the train station. You can see that there's train tracks right here. That's awesome. I love it. All right, you want to show us your other your other piece of art? Tree, and then there's just and there's a huge cherry tree. Beautiful. Okay, what's show us your next one? No, thank you. You don't want to show us that one too? Okay, well, who inspired, which one was that one? Was that the Basquiat inspired yeah. painting? Basically just all my concerns. And okay. E and a flower up here. So you're in the middle? No, no, and yeah, that was me. I'm wearing, I'm, I'm pretending I'm wearing Preston Styles red and black fire match. Tell Miss Buffy what your concerns are. And my concerns are there's like, there's like something, there's like something inches of snow, probably something feet of snow. 
And then there's power outing in Texas. I hope Preston is not suffering from that because he lives in Texas. Okay. And then there's COVID-19 right here. And there's people dying. And then there's, co and then there's the vaccine with a dead COVID-19. Nice. So those are all the things that you've been kind of thinking mostly about. Thank you, Connor. Okay. I'm recording right now. Go, can you tell us about your artwork? Um, it was like it looks like Kamala Harris and with a pattern behind it. I love the pattern behind it. Do you remember who the artist was who inspired you for this? Um. When we learned what? about Emory Douglas, yes. yeah, it was we learned, Emory yeah, we learned that Emory Douglas did a lot of artwork with a prominent person, right? And Kamala Harris is a very prominent, important person. And he usually did those backgrounds that made the person stand out. And I love your background. I love your choice of person and I love your background, John. It is awesome. What, why did you pick Kamala Harris? Um, because I, I thought of, um, hmm, Joe Biden and then, but I, um, I forgot how to draw Joe Biden. Okay. So, I picked Kamala Harris. Well, you did a really good drawing of Kamala Harris and I love your pattern in the background. I love it. All right, thank you, John. Okay, Maya, go ahead and show us your artwork. It's a picture of some of, of, of plants in the snow because the plant, I would like if plants could stay alive in the snow, which I don't think could happen. Uh, can you scooch it back just a little bit so we can see the whole thing and we can see you? And I drew, and then I wrote, I'm worried about plants dying in the snow. So when we did our project um, with, with Basquiat, we said that he sometimes drew things that he was worried about, right? Show it one more time, Maya, and hold it right next to you and hold it up. So when you were inspired by Basquiat because he did the same kind of thing with his artwork, he drew about something that was happening in the world, something that he was concerned about. And you drew the same thing. You drew about flowers that you're worried about them in the snow. And you yeah. used some nice colors. And um, I love your background there. And I love how you added some words, just like Basquiat did the same thing. He added words to his artwork. So thanks, so, Maya. The reason that where I got the idea to write this is because I'm worried that my, my the neighbor across the street from my house has a bunch of dead plants in his yard instead of alive ones. Okay. All he has is like yellow grass, tall grass, and that's it. And then a bunch of re dead plants. Thank you, Maya, for sharing your artwork. Okay, Naima, go ahead and share your artwork with us. Okay, this is somebody, and y'all, I didn't get to finish the pattern though. But um, it is somebody in jail, and this is the lines that I made, and some pattern right in my hair. Is that a, a certain person, or is it just, and it's not anybody in particular? It's nobody in particular. Okay, I love your backgrounds. Once you get that pattern filled in, it's gonna look amazing. I love that. And um, it's going to be like pink, blue, orange, yellow, like these colors right here. Cool. Do you remember who the artist is who inspired you for this? Um, Emery Douglas. Emery Douglas. Very good. Emery Douglas had those really nice patterns in the background, made that person really stand out, right? Mm -hmm. I love it. Good job, Naima. Thank you for sharing that right now. Um, so this is my 
drawing, I kind of did me a little. I tried to do brown, but the brown ended up looking like orange. So I did me in kind of like a green jumpsuit in one of my black masks because of COVID. Um, and then I kind of did some stuff that I'm thinking about. One is George Floyd because he was killed. Um, my home, I just, I don't know why I'm thinking about it. I just want everyone in it to be safe. My mom, me and my sister, the vaccine. Um, I mean, they could be some, um, I heard on the radio that some brown people are scared to take it because they don't trust the government. Um, I did some dollar signs and question marks, and then I just all did them. This is inspired by the artist we ha we did yesterday. So that's the Basquiat inspired art. Yes, I love it, Roxy. You really captured. I can see um, you, uh, all the colors that you used. You captured his um, the way that he did his artwork by kind of putting um, himself in the center and thinking of all of the things that you've been really worried about or thinking about. So thank you, Roxy, that is awesome. I chose Faith Ringgold for this project. My, my picture was inspired by Faith Ringgold's book, Tar Beach. And this is me flying over the arch. Faith Ringgold inspired me because, because she has amazing paint strokes. She is also an amazing person. I love her ch children's books. She made the world a better place because of her art and books. Faith, Faith tells the message of racial equality in her art and books. Her tower inspired me how that she used like colors in a different way and shapes. And I think she's trying to express the words by saying that Black Lives Matter in a way of art. And I use different shapes because she used different shapes like circles, triangles, and squares. I, my sculpture is Augusta Savage. I'm, I picked her because I like I like how she has been making lots of figures with clay. I really like making little figures with with anything I found around in the house, uh, and especially recycling. Uh, so I decided I'm I'm going to make a pitch, uh, what's this name? a sculpture of her since she likes making sculptures. And I even, with the leftover Play-Doh, I made her name and her last name. And then I made this heart right here because I know that she she is very good, but sometimes I feel a little bad because she wanted to go to this school, but Adrian, you wrap it up? 
and I I made it so well I'm making it so it can fit right here. Basquiat was born in New York. His art used pictures and words. He became famous very young. His art was about things in his life. Can you say something about your picture that is in the style of Basquiat? My picture is me and there is a giant snow mountain because it was snowing really hard. Very good. Last week we, we learned about Emery Douglas and what inspired me about Emery Douglas was his bold lines and like his choice of color and stuff. And so what I drew is a person skating, drawing, and building at the same time. And everybody in the world is watching. It's snowing and it's this temperature. Hello everyone. So I was inspired by the artist Emery Douglas. He made, so he, the reason he made art is for the blank. Black Panther Party for protest art. So, so my painting is says stand up for who you love. So you that means you have to stand up to your best friend or anyone who's special, who's any colored skin, and people can't judge you by your skin. And um. The background is blue and peach, and then the rainbow is red, orange, yellow, green, and just blue. So it says, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. Stand up for who you love. And a few more. And that's that. And there is a little newspaper talking about it. Bye! I was inspired by Emily Douglas. I like his patterns and colors. My drawing shows action. The person is serious, like most of Emily Douglas's, Douglas's subjects. Who's your artist? My artist is, I guess the savage, and this is a, a mermaid of an and this one is a zombie, and, and, and her art is a, her bodies and faces, and then I wanted to make my, my own, so I did a zombie and everything, so... Thanks. Born Michelle Basquiat, born in December 22nd, 1960. He was the center of the 20th century graffiti era. My crown represents Basquiat's signature trademark. All my time is was born in Columbia, Georgia, September 22. She was a, stu a student, uh, a art student. She made abstract art when she was age seven, 70. She art like suns, sunsets or planets. She made more, she made a colorful, painting like one of her art was inspired by, by the knee uh, by the knee by the neon arm shock buzz ultrasound 
stand on the moon. One, one was blast off. Why I picked this artist because she makes a lot of a lot of colorful art work that is based off of real and she, and she made sculptures this school she went to was black howard university now what's your artwork this is my work it's supposed to be colorful and I, this is a self-portrait of me walking through a colorful hallway Happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. Go. So the so what so a long time ago the black people and white people they didn't get the exact same, they weren't in harmony. They were divided into two. And what happened was that white people got more money than black people. How much more? So, so white people got 95 more bucks than black people. Why were white people able to have more money? They quit, they went to White people could go to college, but black people couldn't. Mm -hmm. and, and black people couldn't buy houses. And, and Why couldn't they buy houses? Because, because a long time ago, black people, they, the red, the, they got redlining. So that means that what, what people, what white people does did what they draw lines mm -hmm. around where what black people live, and that's called the red lining. Can you hold it out? So you can see a good picture of it. Hi. So, uh, what inspired me was when he drew parts of the body. Um. What, um, why did I study him? Um, because he was an African American artist and, um, and, uh, this is, uh, now I'm going to tell you about my painting. So, this is a tree, and this is my mom, and this is my dog. I mean, this was my, this is, was my cat. And this is my dog. And this is me. And this says 2021. And this is school. And this is my street. My neighborhood. Right there. And Oh, and these are symbols. This is a uh, exclamation point, a dollar sign, and a heart, like an exclamation point, with a dot, exclamation. Um, and that's it. What inspired me was that he, because, because he was a graffiti artist. What impact did he have on the world was uh, he had he was a African American artist. I studied him because he, uh, because he, he was um, he he made paintings.
Uh, so my painting, that's me. That's this Brenda. That's Shell. That's Mr. Jake. That's a tree. That's Charlotte. And that's Evie. And that's my dog, Spiro. And this is our neighborhood. And there's, it, that's 2021. And uh, a couple symbols, like a heart and a question mark and an exclamation mark. And, and school. And that's pretty much it. Bye. What inspired me about John Michel Besquet was that he could draw the stuff, the things that came up in his mind. The thing I think what impact he had on the world was that he inspired people. And this is my picture. This is me surrounded by my mom, my friend Athena, my sister Sadie, my dad, and my teacher, Miss Brenda, who is also my friend. Um, this is a picture of a paintbrush and water watercolors because I was um, using watercolors when I was drawing this. This, these are musical notes because we are also listening to music when we were drawing our pictures. And this says learn to love because um, uh, Miss Brenda said we could do a, a few words. Hi, Miss Buggy. I chose Jean Michael Basquiat for my artist. And because I was just inspired by his artwork because most art pieces, there's only one thing going on, but in his art, there's multiple things. So, my art is just showing all the troubles in the world right now, like what happened. There's masks, there's the hospital, there's the vaccine, there's ambulances, there's question marks, and there's icicles. Just all the troubles that has been ha that have been happening. And there's COVID. And there also there's Texas because of what happened to Texas with the power and stuff. So this artwork, his artwork is just showing like all the troubles that have happened and what he wants to change. So, and there's also a car that crashed because there's some ice wreck here. Just, it's just showing all the troubles in the world right now. Bye. Why don't you hold it up like this so we can look good. Hi, Miss Buggy. I chose Jean Michael Basquiat for my artist. Because I was just inspired by his artwork because most art pieces, there's only one thing going on, but in his art, there's multiple things. So, my art is just showing all the troubles in the world right now, like what happened. There's masks, there's the hospital, there's the vaccine, there's ambulances, there's question marks, and there's icicles. Just all the troubles that, has been ha that have been happening. And there's COVID. And there also there's Texas because of what happened to Texas with the power and stuff. So this artwork, his artwork is just showing like all the troubles that have happened and what he wants to change. So, and there's also a car that crashed because there's some ice wreck here. Just, it's just showing all the troubles in the world right now.
Bye. Why don't you hold it up like this so we can get a good... I like the artist that we were learning about because he's creative. He has lots of details in his pictures and it's very creative of what he draws. Hello, today I am going to do a Black History. Uh, um, I chose is Augusta Savage because she made stuff out of clay. And here is the story. She was born in February. 29th, 18, 9, 20, 9, 92. 92. 92 in Green Cove, Florida. She started sculpting with natural clay. She went in to a artist fair. She won 1922. She, she went to artist school in 1929. She, she made a heart. She was a great artist artist, a activist, oh, wait a minute, let me start. An art teacher. An art teacher. What did she make the heart for? What song? She made the heart for, um, lift, lift every voice and sing. And I have a sculpture that I made on my face. This is a face. And then that is it. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. I was inspired by Clementine Hunter because she taught herself how to draw and she draws simple but she uses a lot of colors and this is our class this is a teacher these are the students this is a tree these are buildings I What's your name? Lois. Who's it?